Okay, well firstly I would uh, like to welcome the Minister here. And Minister, this motion is, it, it relates to supporting, the, it, it's really supporting the Patients Deserve Better campaign, which is promoted by the Neurological Alliance of Ireland, which is an umbrella group of the non-profit organisations which advocates for the rights of over 800,000 citizens living with neurological conditions. Uh, and the motion seeks and rec it recognises this as an, an issue. And I want to say at the very outset, uh, I have discussed this uh, motion with my colleagues across the House in the last few days, and I've had a very favourable response. I don't think there's any division in this House about the absolute need to ad address uh, the concerns. And there are organisations here tonight, and certainly tuning in from Alice Sravia Ireland, AFI, Enable Ireland, Epilepsy Ireland, uh, the, uh, the PSPA, Migraine Ireland, MS Ireland, uh, and a number of other, the Parkinson's.ie and the, Bo, the Beaumont Healthcare. So it has huge, there's a huge concern here. And I only want to give voice, and our group want to give voice to what is a really, really successful campaign that they have won. Not, not me, not our group, not anybody else. They've collaborated well, and I want to acknowledge that, with senators across this house and indeed with Dáil deputies. Uh, and I think that's a, a measure of their success. So the Patients Deserve Better campaign uh, addresses Ireland's shortage of over 100 neurological nurses. Uh, they have 42 currently accorded nationally and international recommendations is that we in Ireland should have 142. And they decided to take action and lobby and they lobbied very, very successfully. And, and I think that's also an important acknowledgement of the professionalism of their, their campaign. And if you look at the milestones of their campaign, they've had six regional launches, they'd have 11,000, God I know, I'm sure we all know this, 11,000 emails to our Octus members, targeted emails to our Octus members. They have been involved and collaborated with 104 parliamentary questions. They've engaged with 83 TDs and senators on the various issues about their campaign. And what have they achieved so far? Because I think that's important. They've achieved 30th of March 2022, the NAI received strong support for the campaign at the Oireachtas Health Committee, and I think that was a particularly important milestone. And I want to acknowledge the work of the Oireachtas Health Committee. And then in 30, 30th of March 2022, the HSE confirmed that 16 additional nurse specialists in neurology services. So that's progress. It's slow, it's not what they want, but it is going in the right direction, and I want to acknowledge that too. So how can you support or we support the call to tackle the nursing shortages? I think it's important that they, we continue to lobby and use our contacts within the houses of the Oireachtas for, for their campaign. Uh, as I say, it, it, it is very, very significant. Neurology covers issues, uh, and these nurses cover issues in terms of multiple cirrhosis, severe clustered headaches, epilepsy, Parkinson's disease, rare and, rare and, rare and other diseases. Uh, and it is critically important that we get this uh, number of nurses up. Uh, and, and I suppose what's really interesting, the recommendations of the neurological centres based on the recommendation ratio. And it's interesting, and I'm going to call out just a few of the hospitals, because I like to deal in facts. And I want to thank the organisation for providing this information. And of course, we validated that information, which is critically important to bring some sort of integrity to our own debate in these houses. So we know that in University Hospital Limerick, the recommendation is 11. Currently there are three. There's a shortfall of eight of these specialist nurses. We know in Sligo, very close indeed to where you are minister in your constituency, Sligo University Hospital, recommendation is seven. The current number is three, a shortfall of four. We know that in, in Cork University Hospital, the recommendation is 20. There's a short, there, they only have four and there's a shortfall a shocking shortfall of 16. And then we move on to University Hospital Galway. The recommendation is 13. There are only four. There's a shortage of nine nurses. And then we come to a hospital of excellence, or should be a, a hospital, it is a hospital of excellence, but clearly needs all the support they can have in this particular area, is Beaumont. And Beaumont Hospital is very much a leading hospital in this area. And their recommendation there is for 15. The current number is 10, a shortfall of five. And then St. Vincent's Hospital here in Dublin, the University Hospital here in Dublin. The recommendation is for 22. The current number is four. There's a shortfall of 12. And I'll wrap up with St. James's Hospital, 
recommendation 14, current numbers of nurses in this area 4, a shortfall of 10, and then the Matter University Hospital 14, and a shortfall of uh, sorry, 6 in place, and a shortfall of 8, and finally Tala University Hospital. 20 recommend, and recommendation 20, they have in place currently 3.5 uh, and a shortfall of 17. So I, don't, I think, Minister, I don't have to set it out much more than that. You know this area yourself. You are one of the Ministers for State in the Department of Health uh, um, and you know the importance of this, of this area. Uh, and what we are trying to achieve is support ultimately for this organisation, patients deserve better. They have done a great job in terms of an advocacy group, they have connected with the practitioners, they have huge support from the consultants in these hospitals, uh, and I think it's important that we would do that. So what is this motion calling for? Because that's what it's all about. Uh, we decided on a motion rather than some other piece of legislation because it was a particularly important issue. Most TDs and senators were talking about the large number of emails, the concerns in particular hospitals, and I want to particularly single out uh, Senator Maria Byrne in your own party from Limerick, who raised a number of issues, and indeed raised one yesterday in this House. I was chairing the commencement matters, and she raised the issue of neurological uh, support and nursing in our, our own local university hospital, and she spoke passionately about the need to address this, but also passionately about a load of shortcomings in that hospital, which is not part of of our remit here tonight, but she made a very, very strong case, and I know a number of your own senators in this House and others across the floor uh, did it. So, opposition isn't about just opposing things, and I think you appreciate that, and we all appreciate that. And so, what we want to do, we want to work constructively with the government. We want to use our time here tonight to highlight those shortcomings. We wanted to basically, as I say, give voice to this enormous campaign, which is patients deserve better. And this motion calls for the government action to address the shortage of 100 neurological nurses, which are vital for patient care, and the reduction of neurological waiting lists, which now stand at 24,000. It's a shocking number. It's a really big number, and we need to address it. The motion also calls for the Minister for Health to publish department's proposals to solve the shortfall in, in the provision of neurological nurses posts across Ireland's 10 hospitals of neurological speciality and centres of excellence. And, and, and that's also, it's a very focused ask here. And we also seek in this motion that the Minister for Health uh, to provide adequate budget for 2023, funding to provide the 100 additional neurological services as nurses nationwide, and in line with the research and recommendations of the Patients Deserve campaign. I'm going to hand over to my colleague, Senator McDool, but uh, I wrap up, Minister, by saying we, we, this motion is motivated about collaboration. It's about support. It's about a focus on the shortcomings. And it's not about laying blame with anyone, but accepting and acknowledging we are where we are today, and we really, really want change. And I think we're early enough out from the budget where hopefully government and your minister, your lead minister in your department, will be mindful of the ask. And I hope, and I'm very confident we will tonight, uh, we'll have the support of all members in this House for this important motion. Thank you.